Mexico, Serge here from the Backyard Driving Range. All right, today's the topic I know you all want to hear about. It's usually the number one thing talked about by most golfers is hitting the driver better and, of course, longer and straighter. I want to tell you a little bit of a story that just happened recently, and it involves DJ. DJ, I'm sure as many of you know who, who uh, follow him, that uh, he started to really start playing a lot, a lot better. And he just had, and uh, he finished off the 2015 year in the last two tournaments on the PGA Tour uh, with uh, a tie for 10th and a 17th. And in the last couple of years, he's he's been hitting the ball fairly well with the driver. He's still up there in in in, in better than above average fairways and fairways and regulation and greens and reg. But I've seen too many problems with his driver in that he seems to be hanging the ball out to the right. Now. I'm going to say right up front, I'm dead certain that in many cases it's likely bad, big A, bad alignment. He tends to aim to the right and, and unfortunately he doesn't check himself out enough. But even when I was out work with him, I'd see him hanging a ball out there too much and, and, and the dispersion pattern was way too wide. And I just felt that, uh, I know that his clubs in the last couple years have not been made by Doc. And so I was very concerned, and I, I finally said to him, Deej, it's time to get into the dock. Yeah, I mean, your irons in the bag were done by him years ago, but your, 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 your woods haven't. And, and I just think I'm seeing too many problems there. And I want to just know that in my mind, and hopefully in your mind, that you know when Doc fixes you, it's, fits you, it's going to be uh, correct. So he went in, and we got a full fitting. All right? Starting off with the driver, I'll talk about the driver today, and I'll, another daily I'll talk about the irons. But the driver, the big issue was that first thing Doc does is he measures the clubs. He finds out that DJ's driver is 45 and a half inches long. Now, DJ's 6'3", so in most cases he could handle that. But it was longer than what he thought it was. All right? He, he was using a top brand driver, one of the top ones out there that's on the market today. And uh, so Doc said, okay, well, we'll see what's going on. So he put, he put the... Uh, impact tape on the face and DJ stood there and hit five or ten drives with the impact tape on it and I, he's just squashing them and and Doc's got his launch monitor there and he's in and, and he's monitoring the the launch angle the spin rate solidness of contact which what they call is uh, the smash factor and I think on the machine he had 1.5 was was like the best you could get it's uh, pretty close to perfect and DJ was just after about 10 shots, it was just like one big ball on it and only like one, one, one or two little places, it was down a little low and lower than normal and then, then the, the big squash in the middle and, and, and a little inside of it towards the heel. But very, very not far off at all. And, and overall, his launch, all his angles and arrows were very consistent, launch angles, spin rates, everything. So then Doc said, okay, that was at full length. So he had him choke up about a half inch and he hit about another 10 balls. And almost all the numbers stayed the same, including club head speed, all right? Then he had him choke it down another half inch, which would now bring it to 43, uh, 44 and a half. And everything still stayed the same. So Doc's conclusion was, was that, and, he, and I think he took him all the way to 44, and, and he was still swinging the same numbers. So he was saying, length does you no good other than just gives you greater margin of error. Have you ever heard me talk about that before? The longer the club, it's harder to hit it it's solid and that's straight. And if you can't hit it solid and straight and swing it faster, there's no way a longer club is gonna hit the ball longer. And all it is is just increasing the margin of error. And as you increase error, you decrease success. So it ended up that, that uh, and then Doc checked out the shaft and everything else and he, he was confident that the shaft in there wasn't, didn't have the right profile in it, meaning where you have three flex uh, points where the shaft flexes and loads and kicks, all right? And, and, and so he had him start testing some other shafts. And sure enough, he, the, other, he, uh, the, the particular shaft, he already knew which one he wanted to put him in. And when he checked two or three other ones and he got that shaft in there, his numbers all changed for the better. The speed, the club head speed went up a little bit. The launch angle went up, which is what we wanted. He was, he was launching about 12 to 14, that was, uh, and that was too low. We wanted to get up a little bit higher. And, and, and then his spin rate went up too. And is tightened up his ball flight, and he could hit DJ right off the bat could feel a difference in the club. So it ended up that he ended up making him that driver, the driver he's got in his bag right now, that that 
Doc made that day is a 44 inch driver and he is just absolutely smoking it. All right. So here he is. He's six foot three swinging 44 inches. Most of you folks that are going to go out and buy clubs and you go and buy a driver and most any and get most fittings from anybody but a peak performance club fitter. They're probably going to talk you into saying, oh yeah, you need at least 45 inches because you can swing the club. Yeah, a longer club hits the ball farther with a bigger head and everything else. Okay, well, as you all know, my driver head is, is, is the same time that Doc makes. And in fact, this one does say DOC on the bottom. It's an it's a alpha driver, 360 cc's versus 460, which is what they're going to try to put you in. All it is is when you get a bigger head and a bigger face, you cannot make the sweet spot bigger. That's a, that is just out and outright wrong. All you got is more room to miss the sweet spot by and hit a worse shot. So Doc puts you in these drivers. Right shaft length is important and then getting the right shaft for you to fit your game your swing, your miles per hour. Lastly, I will say this. I was rather shocked with when Doc kept telling DJ, swing harder, man, give it all me, give it all you got. I think the highest he got up to was like about 117 or 119. And back when he was in college, he could pump 125 without even batting an eyelash. But again, when he's in college, he's 22 years old. Now I guess he's turning into a semi, you know, uh, older guy. At, uh, he's going to be 35 very, in, very soon. And so, He's losing club head speed, not moving as fast. And I mean, DJ is as fit as I've ever seen him in his life. I mean, I don't think there's an ounce of, an ounce of fat on him. He's, he works out. He does yoga. He, does, he lifts weights. He runs. Everything. He got, he's so fit, it's unbelievable. And he eats perfectly. I mean, uh, all organic and, and watching his diet and everything else. So he's as fit as can be, and yet he's lost on average probably about 7 or 8 miles an hour by, 30, by what will be 35 in, in very shortly. All right? So... When it comes to distance, folks, as you get older, you're going to be losing distance because your muscles aren't going to respond as fast and you're not going to be able to move as fast and swing as fast. And the biggest thing to keep, it, keep you in the game is to make sure you've got the, properly, the proper length and the proper shafts for you. It's worked for DJ. I think you're going to see a big difference in that his driving is going to even get better and tighter and probably in, in, in hitting a lot more fairways. When you hit more fairways, you hit more greens. So the moral of this story is, Golf clubs, you got to be sure, if you want to play better, go get fitted. And get fitted by a really good fitter, a Sphinx Surgeon certified fitter, and it'll be done right, and you'll hit the ball more solid, straight, and longer. And that's how you play better golf. That's it for the search for today, and I'll be speaking with you all again soon.